Tuesday, October 17th, uh, getting late this morning. It's 9.15, 9.30 something. But I wanted to get this done with a really nice sun, shine, beautiful morning. Um, wanted to get this grass in and uh, get this started. So I ran to Lowe's this morning early, got another uh, 15 bags of topsoil. I already had 15 on up top. I dumped another 15 down below here and uh, then seeded this and all and tamped it all in. There's a mix of bluegrass. You can see it's actually blue. That's Scott's bluegrass. And there's also Scott's uh, more just regular mix, probably some red fescue and other seeded grass like that. But yeah, this was all full of... Uh, nasty really heavy coarse weed grass kind of like this stuff right here that i'm going around the yard and killing big tufts of nasty crappy wide blade kind of water grass looking stuff but uh yeah I, there was quite a bit in here so i just dug all that out and uh i had four truckloads full of dirt from this area and I had about the same on this side over here. This side, um, I seeded it all and then uh, the same day that evening, it rained a inch and a half, inch and a quarter and washed a lot of this out. So that evening I went and got this uh, landscape blanket and um, yeah, it made a huge difference. There's a, it's eight feet wide and it's pulled across about seven feet. So I have a foot tucked into this corner here at the edge of the drive. And uh, I did a bunch of other landscaping kind of um, diverters. I put a bunch of uh, landscaping fabric in at angles going up at each one of those stakes. There's probably about 15, 12, 15 stakes going up across there to kind of encourage the water to drain back into the yard and then i'm going to um bury that downspout in the yard and run it out that's uh 30 feet right there but i'm going to put another 10 feet on it and get it down here a little bit further but yeah this is all coming along pretty good and uh i'm anxious to see this you know later this fall and next spring after i've gotten rid of a bunch of that real heavy coarse grass and now we've got good grass seeded up in here, but uh, yeah, I just want to show this, that this is what that soil looks like. I tamped this all down, walk back and forth on it horizontally to kind of, again, encourage the water to not drain straight down. And another spot up there, actually all across there, that's all new grass up there too. And I did a hundred spots in the yard, went around and dug up all that nasty weed grass and and put uh, lots and lots of good topsoil and uh, I'll walk out here quick and lots of good topsoil. Yeah, spots like that and uh, good grass seed. This is um, quality premium topsoil. I've spread just the dollar, dollar and a half topsoil in the past and it has not done well, at least in this area. And I don't know, it's probably due to a lot of conditions, you know, um, weather and moisture and other things. But uh, the regular cheap topsoil has not done well, but this Scott's premium for another dollar, it's 289 or 279 something, has really done good. And uh, now the grass seed that I'm putting in has a mix of fertilizer and stuff in it. And the yard, this entire yard was fertilized um, about three weeks ago. So it's got plenty of nutrients in it. So a combination of all that, but I won't buy that cheap um, topsoil. I think it has a lot of weeds in it. Although there are some weeds shooting up in here, but, uh, but anyway, I do like this um, premium Scott's topsoil or premium black dirt, even from Menards is good too, but uh, there's a mix of that in here. But anyway, just wanted to show that and uh, kind of document this for now, fall, October, 2023. And uh, we'll come back and visit this 
in the springtime and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.